Girl trouble, huh? All right, Ron and Fez show, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Ron Bennington, Fez Watley, Chris Tanley, who've had, who's had a horrible accident yesterday. And, of course, uh, the guy who loves the weed, our own Eastside Dave McDonald, or Dickie, as he's now known. And what does he call it when he when he gets high? He goes high in. He goes high in. Okay. He goes high in. Um, so that's the whole team. Now, Chris Stanley, what uh, kind of accident did you have yesterday? Spill the fucking Pepsi on a goddamn brand new Blackberry like a <laughs> douchebag. <laughs> Come on, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Phone's ruined. Stupid. Stupid. Really sucks. Stupid. How is that Pepsi? Enjoy it. Frosty? <laughs> it's now a crackberry. Okay. Just lingo I hear on the internet. Yeah, it has nothing to do with spilling Pepsi on it, though. It's just saying you're addicted to your Blackberry. And by the way, you hearing it means that your internet is slow. Because yeah. it's like a two-year-old <laughs> term. Everyone's talking about the pad right now. We're iPadding. Which is a big, giant phone. Is the only I, I'm looking at the posters for it. I, all I see is a big giant phone. Just can't see that thing being comfortable because it lays flat. So mm -hmm. it's like you're always having to, you know, how long of arms do people have? I think it's here to replace the newspaper and magazines. So you kind of just sit and look and read it like you're reading a a newspaper or a magazine. But that's still pretty bulky. It's still a bulky item to be reading like a newspaper. You're only saying that because of today. Uh, imagine if this thing came out 10 years ago. You're like, oh, my God, it's the thinnest thing ever. Well, that's true. Um, he's, he's also saying it because he doesn't have one. If one was in his paws, we would hear about it nonstop, like when he got his BlackBerry, which is Pepsi-free, by the way. Doesn't have a lot. He doesn't have a lot. All right, Ron and Fez show, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Tomorrow is a personnel day, so somebody from personnel will be in here doing the show. I guess one of the, uh, what do they call that, H what? HR. Mm. Human resources. We're resourcing humans. Yeah. Send HTG to HR and see if they can talk to HR Puff and stuff immediately. And then get back to me. I'll be on my iPad. Pat it to me. Hey, don't, t don't bother me right now. I'm padding. I'm padding this fucker out. My Pepsi! Oh, I wish I was there for that. I wished I was there for the fucking meltdown that took place. Yeah, it was very uh, psychotic, really. Almost emotional breakdown, too. Re yeah. I can see you fucking turn into tears. Small things make me go really fucking crazy real quick. Remember the day that uh, Dave told us that he started crying because uh, he, he left his phone in the cab? <laughs> yeah. One after, of my favorite Dave stories after ever. After I got back from the airport visiting my um, yet-to-be wife... Uh, it was such a long, arduous flight, and then I get out of my cab, and I left it there, and I just sat on the sidewalk crying in Astoria, Queens. <laughs> Anytime you're crying, it's a fucking funny day to me. And then my favorite is when you and Fez cry together. That's just fucking, that's 4th of July time. Uh, Jimmy, you're on the run of Fez show. Yeah, Star Trek should sue the crap out of Apple. They had the uh, concept for the iPad way before with that little data pad that everybody carries around and does everything with. It looks the exact same. Now, what Star, what Star Trek are we talking about? Oh, that's like a next generation. Yeah, idea. I don't next generation it. Hey, I'm, I'm Captain Kirk and Alk. It's all Kirk out with me when it comes. Like, I've heard the name Picard, but I have no idea what he does. I just know him from Extras, which I thought he was very funny. <laughs> what about Jory LaForge? That's new to me. That's new to me. He wears an air, air filter across his eyes, his glasses, so he can see. What's his name? Jordy LaForge. And then isn't there someone's name just named Data? Data. Whatever. I, What's the fucking <laughs> difference, Jersey? I believe he was even in, featured in, Mich uh, in uh, Independence Day. And that's the last time I've seen Data. He was a scientist in Area 51. That was actually the last time I saw Independence Day, the first fucking time I watched it. I actually screamed out in the theater, why? Uh, Jimmy, New Mexico, Ron Fez. What's up, buddies? 
Yeah, I, I got an iPad, and I'm getting ready to board a flight. And like Dave said, I mean, it keeps you from all those angry visits on flights that just don't turn out right. It's just a great media device. It's a great so, media device. So you're watching, watching movies on it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you just convert them. It takes like five minutes, and then you throw it on there. And you I know, but I already got nine things to watch movies on already. But can you walk around watching a movie? Yeah. On like a piece of no. <laughs> okay. I can do it on air. Not big enough. The, uh, you know, the next thing I want them to invent is just the fucking show Sliders. So we can slide into alternate realities. Oh my God, what about that alternate reality last night? Dave, I fucking screamed at you for getting me back into Lost. I fucking laid you out for it. And let me look you right in the eyes and say last night, best Lost ever. It was... It should be the fucking Desmond show, let's it, face it. It was so great that I woke my wife up sleeping because she couldn't hang. She said, I'm going to watch Lost tomorrow morning. I'm getting tired. She had a busy day. And I said, no, I know even though you have to go get up early tomorrow morning, you have to watch this right now. Now, of course, I had been high in. I so understand. There, it was, you can't even wait for the weekends for high in? No, I mean, I figure it's, it's good. Well, high in. I, I, yeah, it's, it's at the end of the day. Why not? I, I'm never hung over, so it's a great thing. But I told my wife, you have to do this right now. So I actually watched it back to back last night. I watched it and rewatched it again in the bedroom. That shit with the with the wife, Penny. When, no, before we got to Penny, oh. when when the fucking Penny's stepmom fucking says, "Don't ask too many questions." Right. And then we figured out this fucking. Oh, and then also the hand. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. The hand was. I was so just calling great. G Baby up. You got to <laughs> make sure you don't miss loss. This is so fucking good. The hand was so great, and yeah, that that woman, that Eloise, yeah. has always been creepy in a great way. I know, way. but the fact that she knows that that reality isn't even reality. It's fake. It's a bullshit and reality. What if we're in this reality now, Dave. That's what I was thinking. What if you should be fucking down there hosting around the horn? That's what that's that's actually what came to mind last night. I was thinking the uh, the alternate reality, Dave, or the real reality, Dave, is probably quite successful. Now that whole thing of uh, oh, good, I got a picture of uh, Mafia Life uh, Chris's kid. My daddy changed his number. Update your records, please. Oh, that's great. Uh, that whole gimmick of like sometimes you see somebody. It's an instant attraction being because you know them from another reality. There's something about that because in life, you know, sometimes you'll meet people. They haven't done shit for you. And you're like, this person's great. And other times you meet people. Everybody else says they're great. And you're like, I hate that fucker. Absolutely. Why, Why does that happen? Yeah. Now, when we were naive, we thought, oh, maybe there's past lives. No, simultaneous lives. They're all going out doing a whole string theory motherfucking thing. There's where the deja vu comes in. But here's the deal. Would this weird you out? Because remember, he sees her, it's love at first sight. But what if the other person doesn't have that? I know. How's that fucking weird? And I'm not. What if you see someone, you have love at first sight, but they don't have love at first sight for you? Crushing. Is it? Yeah, it would be. It was so wonderful. Now we officially have five episodes left, I think. Five episodes That's not enough. Yep. I, I, I want this show to go on for eternity now. <laughs> the, the, before, I wanted to stop in the middle of it, like two weeks ago, just cut off loss, forget it. Cut our losses was my big joke. No. Now I want the spinoff, Desmond's uh, Weirdness Hour. Well, and also, when Desmond said, I need the, the flight plan... You know, a, a list of everyone on that flight. When he uh -huh. said that and requested it from the limo driver, I ran out of my house, like, like screaming, like the loss is the best. That's what I actually. Well, see, did. here's the deal. I had never, until last night, I thought everybody just went out. It was just a different world. And I've been saying this: people are happier. They're happier in this other world. But now I get why they're happier. Because they're being fucked with by the devil or something. Yeah. Whatever that fucking man in black is. All your dreams are coming true, but it's not real. You're in a fucking matrix like Keanu Reeves, dumb as Keanu Reeves. That's what it is. And we, what we have to find out is who is behind it. 
Who is behind this all? If I had to say, I want you to realize this. That fucking limo driver is the plague from Hackers. So he's up to no good. I wouldn't trust that bastard for a fucking second. He's got too much info. If he can get a flight plan, he's got too much information. Ugh. He's in with Mrs. Faraday Whitmore. Jesus Christ. That lost to some fucking show. It just might be the best show of all time. Last night was. I mean, it might be the best drama, I'll say that. You can't put it into a sitcom thing. I, I'm not going to have Lost Val Seinfeld. Let's not get mm -hmm. fucking crazy. Why not? Let's Too fucking wild. set up. Let, let's fucking set it up. March Madness with all the TV shows. Because <laughs> right. everybody would just be voting like this. Cosby. I like American Idol. I saw it last week. Ick. I'm almost happy that Idol was just so shitty. Same reality. <laughs> it makes Lost that much better when you have to watch Idol before Lost, which I do. Why don't they just admit 90% of those kids blow? Worst? Really the worst cast in a long time. Uh, Mike and PA, you're on my face. Uh, hey, hyperbole boy. Did you actually run out of your house with your hands above your head? Yes. That was not a hyperbole. That was real... David McDonald. What, what, part, what part made you scream out? When Desmond asked for the flight plan, because now I know he's going to, he is the star of the show now. He's going to have to go like a great adventurer and find all the people and say, hey, listen, we have to get back to the aisle or something. But know. see, here's the gimmick. Why did he get shot by Ben in that? Oh, no, he got shot by Ben. He did. Yeah, in the reality. Yeah, in, in, in the, the other real, reality. In the real yeah. show. So this fucking Ben still can't be fucking trusted. No. And I know you guys are like, but he's nice now. Fuck him. No, not David Mack. We've seen enough soap operas that these motherfuckers do not change their stripes. Not yet. I said Saeed will be good at the end and Ben will oh, be don't bad. don't bet on the Saeed thing. I have he's to. He's as nutty as a fucking fruitcake. I think Saeed's gone. Yeah, he's already dead. He's dead from the inside. It would be so crunch. He's like Locke. He's as dead as Locke. I would uh, but here's the thing. Desmond, who we all love, he has to sacrifice himself because he said there has to be a sacrifice. Desmond, hero of Lost. He wasn't even on the fucking original plane. I'll be so pissed at the, the producers if they make Saeed a bad guy. I'd be so pissed I'd think of invading Iraq. I'll tell you this right now. I don't know how G-Baby can wait the three hours. If I was him, I'd jump on a fucking plane every Tuesday, get to the East Coast, watch it on real time, and get back. I hope it blows next week, so I'm not all happy about it. Um, here is um, here's Jim. Jim in Boston. You're on my face. Yeah, Faraday is the one who is getting the list of the passengers. Is going to track him down. Not Desmond. You watched it twice, Dave. Come on, stop smoking. Desmond's the one who asked for it. No, Faraday is the one who's getting the list. No, I How don't. How are you think figuring so. that, Desmond? So. And, no, they're gone. But it, it seems like Faraday knows everything anyway. Yeah. And 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 I'm she's totally conscious that she's in a different fucking dimension. And Faraday was the one I thought who got Desmond's curiosity piqued about the flight plan. So this caller is just—it's just too much. I know you're in Boston. You gotta put the suds down eventually. What are you? Because you smoke pot, you fucking fuck with people who drink. I'm just saying, all these drinkers, you know, drinking, drinking, drinking. You were throwing it in my face earlier today. This is, I know you're going to be limited to smoking pot once a week. I Eventually. know this is going to happen soon. Yeah, you're right. So I'm taking advantage of this time right now while I have it. Um, here is uh, Corey, you're on a fez. Hey, I just wanted uh, maybe an Ichiban. I wanted to see and get an update on uh, Eastside Dave and his wife and the picnic yesterday. I wanted to see what kind of magic uh, happened there. Let's check it out. Um, we got, uh, there was a fight that was had, um, a fight about what exactly happened. I demanded to be sent videos. She said there were videos, um, in the videos. Indeed, there were, there was the other child there, but the guy had a tank top. Uh, I thought that was a little bit too much for my taste. He was wearing a wife beater and jeans. I thought that's, that's not, that's not how you're supposed to dress when meeting friends. And so um, it wasn't good. We we got to a disagreement, and then I said, how would you like it? She said, uh, do whatever you want. So then I went to the garage and got high in, and that that's what happened. 
Now, I don't know how much this I believe the UFS. I don't know. The wife beater seems like a little much, and I don't know how much of a fight there actually was. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll go into the studio and pull up the video right now. All right, go pull up the video. But nobody believes you. Uh, Sean, you're on Fez. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Ben shot Desmond because he went to go kill Penny as revenge for Widmore's. Uh, Widmore's guys killing his daughter, and Desmond tried to stop him. Not He was set out just to kill him. He was actually going after Penny. Oh, uh, yeah, I get that. But I'm saying, what is he up to? What is that prick up to all the way around? There's something I don't trust about Ben Lyons. Maybe because he's killed half the island. <laughs> Maybe that is the one thing that's fucking with me. Uh, Hicks, does Dave just blow some things out of proportion to get mic time? I don't think so. I think I think this this alone is the is real. This Has fucking... he mentioned stuff to you off air about this? Because I know he sits and he fucking talks to you like your little girls together. Uh, he did mention something earlier today that he hasn't brought up on the air about his smoke zone, and he found some pictures of him and his wife and his ex girlfriend, and how he her ex girl her ex boyfriend, and it was freaking him out as he was smoking pot. And I was like, "What the fuck is your problem, man? It's just a fucking picture." And he started getting really angry before the fucking show, and then he brought it up to his wife. He called her up and brought it up to her as she's in the car driving to the Philadelphia Children's it's, it's Hospital. It's real. It's it's sadly fucking real. It's psychotic. Yeah, I, why would they make insanity. this up? And I have all the I, documentation. All that, I, before you get to that, what were oh, these pictures? There, I'm not lying. Wow, I'm that lying, fucking yeah. guy's a stud. Holy oh, shit. That guy's my a stud. God, is he good looking. Wait, all right, whoa. stop it. Wait, I fucking someone... hetero the show a little bit. And we can take back that I'm lying now. I, so no one believed that there was videos of fucking man with shirt off. But he's and... pushing a baby here. I said, the, I said the wife beater was a stretch, but I don't think the fight happened. Uh, how could it not happen? He, Fe Pepper just said, I'd argue with my wife today, uh, this morning, before I do anything. believe Pepper. Yeah. All right, let's go through the video real quick. You ready, Jules? All right, I can't look now because the kids are being used to this. Yeah, it's like little like wow. versions of, the, you know, <gasps> two chicks and two guys. Whoa. What if they try to make the kids kiss, like when you go with puppets? Let's see, that's his son. Problems. Well, he yeah. sounds like he's talking like a nice parent, though. He's talking about the challenges that they go through. Looks like a druggie to me. Or, 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 or like a Johnny Knoxville type guy. Well, you, you, you're a fucking druggie now. You're sitting in your garage high and every day. Oh, come on. It's marijuana. I'm not, you know, this, this, this guy <laughs> looks like up. a meth head for fuck's sake. Hey, I've seen plenty of National hey, Geographic episodes on let's that. Let's never fucking put down meth heads. That's fucking wrong. That's really, to me, an ethnic background. I've seen lots of specials on the Discovery <laughs> on meth, and it's always guys in the in the wife beater with the thing. Yeah, it's fucking hot when you're doing meth. You're watching Mad you, Men. You're not going to be fucking uh, snorting meth with a fucking pea coat on. You'll overheat. <laughs> yeah. All right, take me back to the original story. We'll watch this with the sound down, please. Yeah. The kids are getting along great together. I know. That's why. This is a fucking George Clooney, Michelle Pfeiffer movie. I forget. One day at a park oh, or yeah, something. Oh, yeah. One day at a time. Something like that. <laughs> the fucking the, the super always just... Schneider had a pack of cigarettes in his shirt. <laughs> and then Method was in that show. Because <laughs> it was 1954 when that, movie, that, that show came out. Well, let's just... Um... <laughs> what an awful character. Um, so... I'm in the basement. All uh, fucked up. I'm sorry. Pot. I'm in the garage, but uh -huh. I call it now. I told my wife it's not called the garage anymore. We call it the smoke zone. Okay, you're in the smoke zone. So I'm in the smoke zone listening to the Yankees Red Sox by myself. Just, you know, smoking out of the bowl. Just listening to John <laughs> Sterling fuck up so many calls. And I look, and there is this homemade uh, photograph box. Yeah. But front and center on the box is one of those uh, photo strips that you take when you're, you know, you're at the, uh, you're on the boardwalk, you're right. in an arcade. Yeah. And the photo strip is, uh, I, I was kind of high, I was kind of high, so I thought it was me, because my wife and I took one, took, had done that twice. So I look closer, and I get the box wrapped to my face. Yeah, no, it's her and her ex, with very cutesy... Um, he's kissing her on the cheek. Aww. Um, she's doing the eyes, the pinky in the mouth, mm -hmm. eyes up at the, you know, like a, to me, it, it, it feels like it's a fake blowjob. 
I know that's what you girls are doing. When you do finger in the mouth and look up in the uh, sky, say. it's a fake blowjob, so that's why you do it. Huh. And so now, so basically, I'm thinking fellatio and making out are of, of my wife and some other, her ex-boyfriend right in front of me. Um, and uh, yeah, I, 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 was, I, I did have a fucking like meltdown. So that's why I thought about it. I said, you know what? I'm a little too high to make an argument because I can't formulate my thoughts. But right. tomorrow morning, when I'm nice and clear-headed and clear-eyed, I'm going to give you a call. And th that's what Pepper saw. All right. Now, Pepper, you're sitting there. Out of nowhere, Dave picks up the phone. He doesn't even mention it to you first? Uh, no, he just says I had to make a call. And then he just goes at it with his fucking wife. I'm like, what the fuck is What was he on? saying to her? He was uh, he was fucking saying what the fuck's with this picture? This guy's a scumbag. Why would you have this in front of, in front of me? While I'm the, in the guy stole garage. from her. <laughs> I'm in the garage. <laughs> the guy stole from her. Right. Oh and no. Okay. Okay. Her heart. You, you, th th this is what we said exactly. Yeah. I said uh, I I cannot look at this guy. It's ruining Davy Mac's smoke zone. Okay. Right. This is where the fun happens. Right. And you know, there's air hockey and <laughs> pot. That's it. And and then she <laughs> says, okay, if it'll make you feel better, right. I'll take it down. And this that's the part where Pepper heard, where I said, this guy's a fucking scumbag. He stole money from you. He stole from you. It shouldn't not only make me feel better, it should make you feel better! It's about you! This is your ex-boyfriend who left you with by post-its who stole and fucking put you in debt on your credit card! It's like deja vu from this morning. So she that's said, exactly what he got. That he got. He that got hot. that angry. He got that. His so, voice got <laughs> that crazy now, fucking screaming. Sound. Having said that, right? She did send me a text. Yeah. You want me to read it? Well, it's no. I'm just showing it to you as evidence because for some reason I'm still, um, you know. So she sent that to me, saying, um, you know, it just says this: blacked him out of every pick. Sorry. Yeah. So she's keeping the pictures, uh, but blacking him out. That bothers me in, in, in a way too, because it's it's still it's you know Watergate, you know it's it's you're just fucking. It just seems odd. Here, I think this is the whole thing. Women, I'm not saying that they're stupid, but they don't have the visual memory that men have. You know what I mean? Right. So they need pictures. Yeah. Like. Like, fucking, uh, I, I hate when I go in an office and somebody be like, oh, this is a picture of my wife and kids. I'm like, you don't know what the fuck they look like? Didn't you just see them this morning? Why do you got pictures of your kids in your office? Well, remind me. How do you fuck? You're not going to recognize them again? Yeah. What is this fucking memento? So, <laughs> women need to fucking hold on to things. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. And I've never been a photo collector. I know. And so I neither. So I just don't understand it myself. I don't even know what a photo means. But, like, I'm buried underneath, like, many of her photos. Some are nice. I like her pictures of her as a child. Right. And her family. But, like, you know, when it's, you know, the, my here's, here's my friend, Jared, or here's my friend, right. Jeff. And then I said. Because they stayed friends after. Yeah. They, one of those deals. Well, that right. was my friend. That's why we're still talking. And I said, we I said, do you, did, you, did anything happen? At this point, it's hard to define friend. And then, well, how would you define friend, Fez? Someone you had sex with in the past? If I was still friends with them, yes, but it would be a so different that's... kind of friend. Well, what's that mean? It would be fr It would be a friend with but... benefits, is what they say there on Sex in the City. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and so that's that's the issue that I have. What is it you would like to her to do to her past? Nuke it. Anything, the past. any any kind of pictures with other dudes, I would like to be nuked. You know, I don't see the... See, the thing about blacking it out is, so she blacks him out, but she keeps the photo with her head in it. it it's not too hard to say, where was this photo taken? Oh, yeah, this is me and my ex-boyfriend at the beach. You know, it, it, I want the maybe, photos gone! Maybe she just wants the picture of her simulating oral. That's exactly what I'm saying. I know it's about blowjobs. Tim in Iowa, you're on Runa Fez. Hey, um, Dave. Why do you think she hates you so much? I don't I, know, Tim. 
Man, it just, it's just not right. This, this woman, it seems like to me this woman does everything to make it right with you. To make it right? Yeah, she's, she blacked out every picture. I mean, you know how much she had to go through to do that. Well, then why... Why do you why do you think why would you say why does she hate Dave? What's that? Why would you open this with why does she hate Dave and then you defend her? Because it throughout the whole show she's just she's done she's just been nothing but good to him. It does seem like she's very good to you, Davy Mac, and you even now have a smoke zone. That fun place for yourself. <laughs> she takes care of the two babies, no offense right. to you, but you don't do jack shit. You're That's right. true. Yeah. I mean, I feed them sometimes, but but I mean, in in terms of percentage, yeah. If you're two. taking care of them, two percent, yeah. And probably talking about that ninety percent of the time, the two percent that you do, yeah. And I'm only saying that because guys have a tendency to do that. No, you're right. Why can't she have her little memories? What is the big fucking problem? She wants to remember better times. <laughs> that's the point is that it's not better times and you can't tell me that these people you know this guy is a jerk and stuff and yet there's photos of you there not only that but I felt like I've done you know in my house my mom had pictures of me and my ex because we attended my brother's two weddings together and I said mom take those photos out of the um I have the photo album and everything, because when KC comes over, I want her to see that. Right. So I feel like, you know, I felt like that was the classy way to be. But let me ask you this. Would that matter to her, really? If she would have saw those, would she would act like crazy Davy Mac? She wouldn't act as crazy, but I, she had, she, I know she would be miffed. Have I you know it. Have you ever seen her upset about that type of thing before? Yeah. Fuck yeah. In my uh, blue, I call it my little black book. That was uh -huh. Dave's number uh, book for chicks. <laughs> How wow, little. what a, what a, what a brand new phrase. <laughs> so go ahead, Dave. Okay, so I had my she knew that my ex's name was Claire. So she looked up into the she went to the seas and she she ripped the page out. This is when we started going out. Now, I actually thought that was a cool thing. I was not pissed off. I was like, "You know what? She you're absolutely right. It's my ex. Why the fuck do I need her phone number in my as I call it, Lil Black Book. So you're entitled to rip it off. I didn't get mad. I didn't even get pissed off. In fact, I respected her and said, you know what? That's a cool thing to do. Good job, honey. You're right. I, 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 should, I should have ripped it out. Right. Good job beating me to the punch. Uh, here's Mike in D.C. You're on Run of Fez. Mike. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, my name is Mike. Listen, Ronnie, you sound like $2.77 today. But I got a similar situation. I found a uh, picture years ago of, uh, like you said, on the boardwalk, but you were dressed up in, uh, uh, my wife was dressed up uh, like the old timey, like the Western. Right. And she's got the garter belt and she's got the, the fishnet and everything. And some guy's sitting there holding a Gatlin gun. And I'm like, who the hell is this? Well, the thing is, I was in my smoke room, Dave. It was me. Are you sure it's not you? I, I was positive because I, I do hear what you're saying. That's why I took the box and looked at it very closely for a good 35, 40 minutes. Before well, I think I, you should go back in the smoke room and look at the picture again. Okay. First of all, it's the smoke zone. Okay. Oh, okay. And secondly, I, I'm telling you, I went over this fucking thing like the Zapruder film. I know that it's my, it's not me. Maybe you should yeah. not be getting high in that room well that's the only place to get high in i'm not gonna sit in my house i have children as you pointed out and that would be irresponsible so i go into the garage form what's formerly known as the garage and that's where i take care of my business listen to a little baseball enjoy myself put the feet up um here is um Let's go to Keith, our buddy in San Francisco. How are you, Keith? I'm doing well. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Hey, Dave, when your wife throws you out, do you think I could date her? No. All right, so You're not going to date. I'll, I, I'll take down your phone number if I can find it. You would just move into the smoke zone full time at that point. Not a bad place to be. You got to get a black light in there. I wouldn't be complaining. I'm working on it. I already bought some poster board and some magic markers so that I can make a sign that says... Dave's smoke zone. So I'm I'm decorating. Hmm. Uh, I here's what I worry about, Dave. 
You're going to be alone in your smoke zone before you know it. That's what I worry about. Yeah. Uh, Chris and PA. Hey, buddies. Dave, let me tell you something, my friend. You're, you're, um, I really, really enjoy your stuff. And for the longest time, I thought your psycho babble was just a bit. But I've recently come to the conclusion, man, that you're for real. And Chris, let me just point this out. And I mean this in the nicest way. Dave is not smart enough to come together with a bit like this. Well, he had me fooled. I, I'll be honest with you. I, for the longest time, I thought the crazy Dave, psycho, jealous Dave was, was just a bit. But, you know, it, it's funny because Casey sounds like a great girl. I've seen her pictures from uh, his wedding online and stuff, and she sounds like an absolute saint. She, she do is. everything except walk on water. And ultimately, I see this ending in a divorce with a restraining order, protection from abuse, everything. And the oh, funny thing is, Dave... Geez. You're going to be the one that drives her to that. All right. Now, what is it, Chris? And I'm being totally honest here. What is Dave doing wrong? What is Dave doing wrong? Yes. Just explain to him. Woman. He's suffocating her. He just can't take it at face value. I'm going 14 hours. Does this make any sense to you, Dave, though, that the paranoia thing is nothing people want to be around? I'm t no, it doesn't make any sense to me. It shows that I have love for this person. Plus, I'm gone a very substantial part of the day. Uh, Jay, uh, you're on the Run of Fest show. Yeah, hey, Dave, I have a friend of mine. She's had several boyfriends. By the way, I'm friends with her because I'm trying to bang her. That's the truth. But she has pictures of old boyfriends. And we come to find out the other night, I was like, why do you keep some and then some you don't have pictures of? Cause, and we found and figured out. Those are the ones that banged her out well. She's all we had the best sex and best time, and those are the ones that she kept. So hopefully that's not the case with your wife. Yeah, I figured. I don't know why, why these photos. I keep finding little photos, finding them all over the place. It's like... Uh, do you think they're being left for you to find? I, I do. I feel like it's like a nightmarish Easter oh, egg hunt. Just so you know this, he's getting in your kitchen now. Obviously, they're not being left for you. Well, you I mean, know where you're being played when Fez is on your side. Right. Okay, I'm just going to point that. I'm going to give you that one. Okay, but the box was front and center. I mean, it's like, it was here, see this room? It was like if the box was this chair that's right in the center of the room. And I go into Would the Would you go back so to what I'm saying, that sometimes women keep things that aren't important to them, and men would only keep something that was really important to them? Do you get the difference between the I, two? I do get what you were saying, especially about the visual memory. Right. That makes a ton of sense. My point is, why do you want that visual memory when you, um, when the guy left you in the middle of the night with, you know, a, a quite a deal of debt that he uh, charged to your credit card? You know, why do you want that visual memory? What What's the point? I, I would think I wouldn't want that visual memory. I understand. It's just that women are... Oddly different than us. That's all. Uh, here is um, here's Brian. You're on Fez. Hey, Dave. I agree with you 100%. Same situation happened to me. Dating my wife. Well, she's my wife now. I was with her for about six months. Came across a box that had all, you know, all these pictures of her exes in there. I went nuts, flipped out. I grabbed every one of them out of there, put them in a pile, and set them on fire. She has no right to have anything laying around. All right, now, Dave. Of old boyfriends. Uh, now, this is uh, Brian from PA. Mm -hmm. do, yeah. you want, do you want to sound like you're from PA, Dave? Is that the way you want to live your life? Like you're from fucking Pennsylvania? Well, I'm originally no, from uh, New York. I lost my accent. <laughs> I mean, I don't harbor any ill will towards people of PA. I grew up there, and I know madness, all right? Okay. Those fucking people are... Crazy with their chicks. <laughs> Crazy. Well, maybe that's, you know, Philly's only an hour away. Maybe I've, it, it kind of. You do get Philly TV. Yeah. And I see your eyes right now, and your fucking pupils are fucking pinpricks. <laughs> you look like you've been down uh, in fucking South Philly, copping angel dust right now. <laughs> and that black dust. Treat it with fucking uh, black tar heroin. Okay. All right. So you're getting fucking wired on me. All right. And I don't want. I mean, I'm even looking over at Pepper Hicks, and I see him tisk tisk in you. Tisk? Yeah. Tisk tisk. Um, <laughs> Two tisks? Here's Darren in Missouri. You're on my face. Hey, Davey boy, I agree with you 100% too. Stick by your guns and 
That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick by my guns on this one. I don't want the photos of the, the person there. We're going to have a compromise. Now, the other side of it is, wh what do you want from me? I'll, I'll be, I'm willing to negotiate, but I, I am not willing to barter on no pictures of exes in the house. That's just not going to happen. Not, not in Davy Mac's castle. What about half of the smoke zone as a craft area? I wouldn't be down with that. I think the smoke Again, zone has... you're taking him fucking serious. Where he's happy now. He could just sit up high and throw darts down. All right? Well, I'm just saying that craft area wouldn't work. Because the smoke it, it, would it, waft it, over. He doesn't fucking care anyway. He's fucking working you. Um, let's go over to... Uh, Let's go over to Jimmy, College Station. You're on my face. Yeah, uh, Dave, it sounds like you don't want to be in the relationship anymore. I I've do. been in a similar situation where I, I, I blew up absolutely everything because I didn't, didn't realize how badly I didn't want to be in the relationship. And it just seems like every single thing you're, you're trying to pick out as some sort of thing that she's trying to do to you when you need to just man up and say, I don't want to be in this anymore. I'd rather just be in my smoke zone. No, that's not the case with me. I want my Please family. be brave enough to say that. I will be. But be brave it's... enough to say that, Dave, instead of acting like the way you're acting. Well, the I... weed's taking over your life, I... let's face it. I don't. It's not. He's gotten, he smoked five joints total. You're mad with reefer. <laughs> total. I know. I feel... And you know what? I want to jump out this window right now. But here's the thing, Dave. Or, or put a kid in the oven. Most people fucking get high. They just don't feel the need to broadcast it immediately. <laughs> well, it's so new to me, doing it sober after a decade and a half of it's all being, he talks about. being on the bench. <laughs> I know, <laughs> and your your fucking Twitio stinks. Uh, here's Craig. Craig, you're on Fez. What's going on, buddy? Yeah. Hey, Davey. Uh, man, it, it's almost sad to watch, man, because I'm watching you slowly self-destruct like we've had to watch Fez do over the years. You're going to have to work on it, man. I've been through all this with my first marriage. I cared about pictures. I cared about what they wore. And really, all you do ultimately is push them away. And you you do push them away. In to exactly what you don't want. Don't listen to these fucks calling in going, hey, you got the right to do that. You don't own her, man. She's your partner. She's your wife. She chose you because she loves you. You got a great sense of humor. You got to mm. quit looking at yeah. these pictures going, oh, this guy's better looking than me and everything else. It don't fucking matter. You got her. Let her have what she wants. Do you want her taking the songs out of your head that remind you of maybe an ex-girlfriend or anything else? Because that's all it Tiny is. Tiny dancer. Is just, I think what you need to do then, too, is hit shuffle. Hit shuffle if the song comes yeah, up. Yeah, no, if you look at my Blackberry, Tiny Dancer is not on my cell phone for that reason. That song never gets goes into Dave's head. Because I watched Almost Famous with my English ex-girlfriend. Uh, and ever since I hear that song, I think of, of her. So I don't listen to it anymore. It's ironic that it's playing right now. But that's not my choice. I wonder if there's an alternate Dave that's so happier with this girl. That stopped her from getting on the plane. No, she, she developed a weight problem. Maybe she wouldn't have in the alternate universe. That's always helpful, though. She did kind of look like that. Penny, though. And then also kind of embarrassing to you. Yeah. Like, you don't even want to see your prom queen looking beefed up. You're like, no. This fucking ruins my youth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, What'd you do this for? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> fucking had such good memories. It's like looking at Tyson fat now. But, Dave, the guys that you ta are taking, and I'm fuck. this is a straight shoot. The guys that you are taking fucking advice from are the guys at the bar with divorces who feel some kind of false pride about themselves. And then they're with some fucking bim who, you know, now that isn't somebody they would have thought of worthy before, but she just is obedient. Mm -hmm. Well, I see both sides of the issue. I just cannot, cannot uh, relinquish my high ground that an ex-boyfriend should not be in a person's house. Ch uh, Chase in Texas, you're on Fez. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Hey, Dave, I just wanted to tell you, every time you have oral sex with your wife, you're licking that guy's dick. All right, that's... that's hey, hey, hold on, hold that's on. That's what you're doing. <laughs> every time you're on the phone to Ron Fez, you're eating pussy and, and fucking a lot of chicks, hot chicks, too. Dave, relax. No, he's under my collar, though, and that's the problem. Uh, here's Steve. Steve, you're on my Fez. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Hey, Dave, man. What are you so insecure about? 
So what? She's got pictures. You, she's married to you. You got kids together. Who cares? She had a past. Why should she be embarrassed or ashamed? I. This is, this is the fucking thing. What's the worst thing that could happen by keeping these pictures? What's the worst thing that could happen by letting her have her memories? She would say, this man was nice. She'll forget about all the bullshit that happened. Say, you know, he was something special. Maybe I'll Facebook him, see how he's doing. That's how it starts. You Facebook, just, hey, what's up? Haven't spoke to you a long time. You know, just say, no, no ill will. I remember the good times. And then you keep going. And maybe it's a Twitter and then maybe it's, uh, hey, well, you know what, let's uh, give me a call. And then it's, hey, let's meet for lunch. And then the next thing you know, he's got his 10-inch dick in my wife's mouth. And uh, Davey Mac is sitting uh, in his garage by himself, purple so, haze. So the only thing that she is drawn by is dick size. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, though, she had a connection with this person. It's not too hard to reestablish connections, in my opinion. I did it. You're you're a little lonely. She's a little lonely. Davy Max going out of the house twelve out twelve to fourteen hours every day. Maybe hey, why don't you come over? It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Come on over here. Then what's going on? Uh, here's Nick. You're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Ronnie B. It's uh, kind of awkward. I kind of want to disagree with you on one of the points. Go ahead. Yet, uh, you made mention of the fact that, you know, men get a little bit more attached to things than women. There's some truth to that. When it comes to the relationship, I always discuss this with my wife. But when you're intimately involved with somebody, women are led by emotion. I could go out and stick three girls right now and not even think twice about it. When a woman does something, it's emotionally contrived. So it, it, these lingering feelings, everything that she's holding on to, it might have some, uh, have some true back to it. I got to agree with Dave on this one. Emotional connection. So she has the emotional connection to that part of her past. Yeah, it's a, it's a significant uh, time in her history that she wants to hold on to. Yeah, I guess she does. I guess she wants to. You know what it almost reminds you of with women? You ever hear, like, those fucking uh, psycho killers always have to keep something behind or their conquest? Yeah. And you're always like, why would you fucking do this? <laughs> Dexter, what do you need the fucking things of blood for? It's just going to get you in trouble. But the only reason that we could talk to you about this, Dave, is there literally is no fucking talking to women about their emotions. They do these things, and like if you said, dude, I don't want you to have those pictures anymore. Oh, oh, I thought you meant uh, you didn't want me to put them out. No, I didn't want them. I went in the closet, they're in the closet. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, now they're in the garage. Oh, I thought you meant you didn't want me to put them out, or yeah. you didn't say... So I'm finding you're like, fuck, no, throw them out. Then you find a picture of somebody else. Oh, I thought you meant just that one guy. You yeah. know, this is going to go on forever for you, Dave. I know. I want you to understand something. You're right. You cannot change her. You can only change you. But we have had that discussion. What you just said, we verbatim had. We've all had discussions with women where they act like, oh, I thought you meant. Semantics you know what I mean? with these people. Yes, it's some kind of precision <laughs> thing. That they have. They're Don't all, be anti-semantic. They're fucking, they're all like Bill Clinton's. No, no, here's the beautiful thing about a woman. They also said, I would never hurt you for anything in the world. You just did. Oh. <laughs> Too late. And it's just something about those, um, I'm telling you, it's the thing about those photo strips that you get in the photo booth that set me off rather than just the photograph. The photograph's bad enough, but those things, They pose on. like, hey, let's have a special moment today. Yeah, yeah I mean, those you, photos are always fun. You're not going to see someone frowning in one of those photos. But not well, to mention... I, I do. I oh, do. really? I just take real mean pictures. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Seems to defeat the purpose. Mm. And not to mention, they're so small that, you know, she's obviously sitting on his lap. I mean... And she's sitting on his lap. So basically, the only thing separating them from having intercourse is pants. And the size of that booth. You could still shove it into her. What's that mean? Take those pants off. <laughs> so basically, what I'm saying you is... You gotta I'm, do it quick. Those pictures come fast. I'm, I'm almost looking at my wife having sex with another man, is what I'm saying. Bob Raleigh, you're on a fez. Hey, first time, long time, guys. Yeah. Dave, you are a million percent right. When I got married, I took all my pictures and all my notes to ex from ex-girlfriends, threw it away, man. It was my own doing. I had no contact to these people again. She should have no contact, no reason to keep them. That's what Bro, I said. You just, 
stand strong, man. There's absolutely nothing. Well, what does that mean? That's what I said. That's it. I, I'm, I'm on your side. Thank tell you. Her, tell, her, tell her to go screw herself. So, That's wait, funny. you're going to be on the side of somebody who wants you basically to get a divorce. I want to point out to you, Dave, <laughs> that everybody who agrees with you and you feel well about it, the end of that road is a bad one. Right. Well, the I'm, end of that road is a bad one. I'm not going to say go screw off, like he said. But. I want you to understand something again. You cannot change her. You can only change you. All right? All right. So what you're saying is I should bring in pictures of my exes. No. What I, th uh, what I say is you have to find a way to deal with it. Oh, that seems much it's harder. Awful. Why don't I just bring in the pictures of my exes and then we can play like a little, like we can battle. Because that also goes to the same place. Yeah, that that, right. that ends at a bad fucking place. Yeah. That ends at a fucking bad place. Yeah. Now, if you know enough about me and Fess, and you know enough about his passive aggression, you know what I mean? Where right. he'll be like, oh, I thought, I mean, Fez is the perfect fucking thing of that type okay. of deal. Where I'm like aggressive and he's passive aggressive, and I don't fucking stand a chance against him. He will always fucking win because he'll be able to outlast it. Yeah, it's true. He'll be able to act like he agrees with something, but then he goes off and does whatever he yep. wants. Because we had this same box, I'm pretty sure I've seen, I saw in Brooklyn. You have. You and it have, just keeps Dave. popping up like a it little. It will. Like a little elf. Yeah. It Ron. will. Like a little fucking divorce elf. And different photos tend to rise to the top. Hello! That's the way the divorce elf sounds. Mm. Hello, look, David, she's fucking with you again. All right, divorce elf. Give me that weed's laced. <laughs> uh, here's Eric. <laughs> Eric, you're on the bus. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dave, I always am got... suspicious of the weed being laced. <laughs> hey, Dave, I got to give you some serious advice on this. Seriously, I've been down this road that you're going down about 20 years ago with my ex fiance. We lived together for a number of years, and we'd been together about three years. And I started coming across old photos of her and whatnot, and I started getting the crazy, insane jealous. And just like Ron and another caller mentioned, eventually this is going to end up with a, a divorce, a re restraining order, and or Davy Mac in jail because I ended up spending six months in a mental health hospital because I, I went so crazy jealous over this shit that I got locked up. She left me, and, I mean, it went horrible. It took me six months, you know, in, in a crazy house and another year to get normal after that before I could get back into a decent relationship. And even now, every once in a while, I have to walk away from my wife with some of this stuff. I'm a truck driver. I'm gone three or four weeks at a time. And you just have to learn to trust someone because I did the same thing with my ex. I didn't trust her. I thought every time I was gone for more than three hours, she was banging some other guy. And mm. she wasn't doing anything. But I Wouldn't it be ironic if she was fucking someone right now, though, while you were pointing this out to us? <laughs> Weird. That would be the fucking coolest. Just like in a movie, it fucking pans over. She's yeah. just getting fucking drilled. Split screen it. Maybe like, you know, like Woodstock. Oh, yeah, Woodstock, that fucker. I haven't yeah. seen that in a long time. You want to do split screen? That'd be cool, right? I think George Lucas tried it in the American, uh, too. Oh, yeah. American Graffiti, too. Yeah. Um, Dan, Florida, you're in my face. Dave, did you take away Casey's Lenny Kravitz and Blink-182 CDs or forbid her from putting those songs on her iPod? Well, she didn't. She's never done anything with Lenny Kravitz. She worked for the band's keyboardist on tour. Secondly, the Blink-182 thing, I didn't see her owning any of those CDs. I do have a possible Lenny K sighting. W whoa. I Where? Can't, I'm not, Where? I've, I promise I'm not allowed to say. Please. No, nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. Okay. But I'm still wondering what, where he is, because I, I love him. You know, I used to love him. Um, and this is only what I heard from the person, and we can't repeat. Maybe you guys could talk a little bit while <laughs> sure. I'm writing something down. To it's going like, to be fun. Oh, wow. And that's a possibility, all because of the tie-in. Wow. But some other supposedly decent names there. But I had to say, definitely not.
Yeah. Uh, for the air. Wow, wow, wow. Um, and then who knows with that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I would not bank on it. Um, here's Nate. Nate, you're on my Fez. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Hey, Dave. Uh, I commented on Katie's Facebook about a year ago, and uh, her response to my comment was, thanks, hon. If she's talking to strangers that way, you might want to, you know, look into it. Well, what did you ask her? Um, I don't remember. I think it was something about the what show, or I commented on your kid, or something like that. Thanks, and she hun. Just said thanks, hun. Huh. People do say hun in the world. It's not a big deal. John, you're on my face. I know, but she doesn't work at a fucking pancake house in the south. What, a little hun? For every fucking time Dick she and Harry did, on Facebook? I'd be over there all the time. <laughs> um, let's go to uh, John, John and PA. Oh, hey, guys. How you doing? Um, just two things quick. Um, like when he was saying about, you know, his first argument about like the Facebook thing and how one thing can lead to the other, like 80% of that was like legit. Like it, it makes sense when you hear about that. But then you start going on about how, you know, his dick's going to be in her mouth any second. And it goes from valid argument to insanity within like two seconds. Well, I, I, I'm, uh, that's how I speak. I mean, I speak logically, but then images go into my head that I cannot keep in my mouth. Yeah. No, yeah. And, and the other thing was um, that I agree with you with is, um, you know, they were saying before how, you know, women keep things that aren't necessarily important to them or, you know, don't have really have any meaning. I'm like, men, but, you know, something unimportant is something you picked up when you went to the beach, something stupid, you know. But so a picture of someone who you've, like, slept with, is different than that, and it has different emotional attachments. I think so. Like, I, I just I, think I feel for you that that when you're married, you make a commitment, and it's like it's, a, it's just. It's, I get it, but I don't think. Look, let's just fucking try to get to this because I know equality, blah blah blah. I just think men and women's brains work differently, and that when a man sees a woman do stuff like this, he's taking it like, what would a man do about this? Now, when a man fucking breaks up with a chick. He really wants that in the rearview mirror, unless he still wants to fuck her. Right. So we know, hey, if we're staying in touch with a chick from our past that we broke up with, we're trying to keep her on the possible fuck list. Yeah, I agree okay? with that. That is a fact to, to us. That's just stone fact. Yeah. Could we agree that might not be the way women's fucking heads work? Now, you might be 100% right. When you're saying any guy from her past that slept with her who still wants to be friends, she's still on his possible fuck list. Yes. Doesn't mean she feels that way. Now, you can say to her, look, I'm a fucking guy. This guy doesn't just want to be buddies, you know. Fucking stop marking out for this. That's one thing. But you've already put her on the defensive as if she's a guy. That's my only point to you. I understand what you're saying, how, but but um, she does have you know guy mentality, which is one of the things that I was so attracted I by see. her. All right. She likes sports. She likes the similar kind of movies. Uh, no girly music, you know. Um, and I like those are all the things that I liked. Uh, James, James, you're on the Run of Fez show. Ron, uh, you are a blessed saint in reality, man. How do you not call him by the fucking place? No, I mean, every... <laughs> I, insanity. <laughs> you know, literally, I think the only fucking thing... I, I think everybody can relate to Dave, what he's going through right now, on some level. Sometimes you fucking feel like, oh, I got over this. Sometimes this kind of stuff creeps back up on you, and you experience it yourself. I don't think it's so... Uh, distant to people, I just think that people aren't as honest about it as Davis. That a guy's not going to normally show up at work and start going, I'm insecure about my wife and me. It, <laughs> guys just don't normally do that. <laughs> Where Dave, with uh, one foot in childhood, still fucking feels that way. <laughs> um, here's Chris in New York. You're on my face. Dave. Chris. You got it. You, you, you're a fucking moron. I swear to God. Be a man. Don't you remember the Godfather? Be a man. Stop crying. Oh, yeah. you're, 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 she's your wife. Shed a tear. She, she's going to cheat on you. She's going to cheat on you. I'm like you. I'm out of the house 14, 15 hours a day. I hustle two jobs. What am I going to worry about shit like this? You're, well, congrats. 
Dave, you got to put it this way. I if all your fucking nightmares came true, right? Yeah. It, it wouldn't be your fault if you're being the good guy. If Correct. you're acting like this and your nightmares come true, we're all going to say, well, Dave fucking drove her to it. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I, I could say I could pull back, but every time I try and show uh, some maturity, then there's another photograph that's, you know. Tom, you're on my fez. Hey, Davey Red. Hey, would you be willing to negotiate uh, not drinking or smoking weed in exchange for no pictures? Uh, First of all, I'd, I'd come to some kind Dave of thing. would not stop drinking if it meant getting his fucking dad off an iron lung. <laughs> his biggest relationship in life is with alcohol. Period. No. That's his number one relationship. Mm -mm. Maybe I, one thing you should do is accidentally break the camera. I don't call on purpose. I don't call alcohol at ten o'clock well, in the morning. That stops yo. her from having future pictures. What stops her from having her past pictures? Yeah. Uh, here is Matt. Matt, you're on Fez. Hey, Ron. Yeah, I totally agree with you about the guys who stay friends with the girls. It's because they're on the possible fuck list. And uh, you said to Dave, why not talk to Casey and say, look, I'm a guy. I know how this works. And, you know, I tried that with my girl when some of her exes popped up and, you know, said, look, they, they still want to fuck you. And she said, oh, no, I, you know. I wasn't even that nice to them, and that was so long ago, and I've put on 20 pounds and all this, and they don't even buy it. Like, they refuse to believe that a guy is just being nice to them because uh, they still want to bang them. See, the thing is, girls try to look at guys, and girls are using their girl brains to try to figure out a fucking guy. Mm. Guys are using their fucking guy brains to figure out fucking girls. That's always a mistake. Now, guys can figure out a fucking angle on a guy immediately. Unless you're a fucking naive idiot. Yeah. Unless you're fucking Mark Mizark. Right. Then you're like, I don't know what's fucking happening. Unless you're Mark with a K. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, go back to this. This fucking guy, you know where the guy's coming from. You don't necessarily know where she's coming from. Yeah. Um, no, I don't. But, if, do I need to? If I've expressed my feelings in a calm manner months ago, do I need to know? If I sat and said, you know, I just kind of don't like these photos, right. let, do I need to understand where she's coming from? Is that important? All right, but you can be right in some ways and still be heading off the fucking falls. Is it fucking... The way is, I'm going about the it. The way you're going about it. Do you want to be one of those guys who are you're going off Niagara Falls in a fucking little boat screaming... I told you so, <laughs> or do you just want to get over to the fucking side so you can move the fucking boat to a different river? I guess the latter is what I'd like. Because you can be right and have everything fuck up for you. There's a lot of fucking guys sitting in bars uh, who haven't seen their kids in years that are stone fucking correct. So what? Who wants to join that fucking loser right. fucking league? And no offense to 90% of the people listening. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, you're probably right. I should present myself in a, in a, in a better way. Kurt in Queens, you're on Fez. Yeah, what's up? How you doing, guys? Listen, Dave, man, you got to wake up. Casey is in love with you. All she ever does is talk about you and the kids. Um, and basically what you're doing is sabotaging yourself. You're going to push her away from you. You're going to push her away from you so that you can say, look, I was right all along, just like Riley just said it. She's a sweet girl, and all you're going to do is end up hurting her and yourself. you got to cut it, dude. How do you know what she's talking about? What are, what are you, Facebooking her? Are, are you on the Facebook list now? Dude, I talk to you and her on Pile Talk. I talk to her on Twitter. Oh, I talk see? On wow. This is what I'm talking about. But she, all she does is talk about you, Dave, you and the kids. All she talks about is Stan and her brother and you. That's all she cares about. She's got two brothers. She's not going to fuck anybody else. You know what you want. I know she had two about. brothers. Yeah, she the has one. two. I thought she only had the one. By the way, that guy's driving me fucking crazy. I don't know how she doesn't turn her pal talk five <laughs> seconds into that guy. <laughs> I don't want to fucking... I'd be going crazy if somebody was saying, knew all these fucking things. I know. This is one point. Then, then now you're coming over to my side. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> See what this, these animals make you think about? <laughs> Does she have photos of her and Kurt? But that's fucking personal information. He kept going, too. Like, I know. You know. She talked about her mom in Westchester, and she needs a <laughs> manicure, and her dad is uh, having some tax problems. <laughs> Jesus Christ, buddy. Uh, here's Scott in Wisconsin. You're in front of Fez. David, buddy, listen. You only can do one or the other. You can be, you know, kind of, hey, this is how I want it to be. 
But if you're working 12, 14 hours a day, right, and you're coming home at night, you're only spending two hours with your wife and kids That's instead of time with them, you're sitting in the garage getting high and ripped and listening to the radio, you're not spending any time I with- do that when they go to bed. I spend as much time as I can, but they go to I get home 7 or 8 o'clock to go to bed. Stan goes to bed at 9, Jules 8, Casey 10. That's that's how it works. 8, 9, 10. You fucking, well, well, you got them on a swing ship. <laughs> well, it sounds like weather and traffic. He puts the bed on the ones. <laughs> that's when they go to bed. I don't right. choose the fucking bedtime. So time. what time do you get home? Seven or eight o'clock. All right, so seven. Oh, a good night. Sometimes I get home at ten o'clock. So you get one hour, two hour, three hour. With one them. hour with Jules, so she gets that hour. Yeah. Stan gets the next, and then Casey gets the the third. And then it's just you and the weed. If they go up to you bed, and Mary they, Jane, they, they leave me no choice. You're making out with Mary Jane in the garage. <laughs> the weed gets yeah. three hours. Gonna smoke this pot now. Gonna play some air hockey by myself. Uh, ben in Virginia, you're in Fez. Hey, Ron, you always make a lot of sense, man, but uh, on this one, I kind of got to go with Dave a little bit. Nobody's looking at the exit sign. Nick is probably getting off on the fact that he's still got his ex with pictures of Dave, you know. No, no, Ben, look. Ben, if yeah. you would, if you go back and listen to me, I said Dave may not be wrong about the ex-boyfriends and their intentions, okay? Right. I, I tend to think, and we've all had exes we like, well, let's just keep that in the fucking tin because there was some chemistry there, and that's a possibility. And she gets a little fucking crazy, so that could be perfect. But it doesn't mean that the girl is going to be that way. Now, you no, normally right. only fucking keep the numbers of girls that you feel like you don't have to go through a lot of fucking rigmarole with to yeah. get back there. Absolutely, absolutely. That's why I had two and names women in my could book. be offended by that fucking talk, but that just is. What it is, what it is. It's very rare for a guy to do that Jerry Seinfeld, Elaine thing of now we just want to be buddies and there's no sexual tension. Yeah. Um, but doesn't mean that that's where Casey's head is, though. That's where you got to stop making that fucking connection. I know. It's just it's so difficult to not make that leap. Mm. You know. Uh, let's go over to um, Lily in Long Island. Lily. Hi, guys. Um, I, want, I really wanted to be Lily in Rochester. How's Brother Weez? Well, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Who misses Lily? Come on. Hands up in the air. I miss Lily. Hand, well, but that, oh. that's not a hand up. That's a yell out. All right. Everybody in the room has it up. Okay. Listen. Listen, Dave. Um, you're very insecure, and it's a real big turnoff. I mean, that's what I hear. If she's going to cheat on you, she's going to cheat on you all day while you're at work. You can't stop that anyway. You know what I mean? What are you worried about? Why don't you just worry about the health of your son? You know what I mean? Like, concentrate on the important things. This is so stupid. I never see where that argument is supposed to be comforting. If she's going to cheat, she's going to cheat on you. Well, it what may, else is that? It may what be honest, that? but it's not comforting. It, comforting isn't, again, what do you want to hear? She's never going to cheat? The fucking point is, we've already told them that. That's not comforting either. Nothing we've told him is comforting. The true fact of the matter is you don't have power over the other person. Even when the other person says, yes, I'm going to do, I'm going to get back into this, you can count on me. You don't have that fucking power. You only have your power and where you decide to put it. And if you think long enough... I'm putting my trust in the wrong person, mm -hmm. then you just have to take it away yourself and put that in somebody that's worthy of your trust. Right. Somebody that you can trust and wants to be in this fucking relationship with you. But yes, no, it isn't comforting for adults to hear the truth. But that is part of adulthood. All right, now this gets sent to us by a young lady. Dave. Um, why is it a bad thing for Dave if a guy wants to fuck Casey? That might seem like a blunt statement, but why is that a bad thing that the exes want to have sex with her and she's still friends? Because she, it, she could actually end up having intercourse with, right. with these people. I mean, that's the, the, the quickest answer I could possibly give. If a guy wants to fuck her, maybe she's feeling vulnerable. Maybe she's feeling lonely. I'm gone much of the week. 
you know, because I work on Saturday as well, and so maybe she uh, that she you know she she makes a mistake. I'm not saying that it's her fault even. I'm saying she's making a mistake. But it's a possibility. And then that mistake has lifetime consequences where I would never right. be able to erase that fucking image out of my head. Mm. So that's the reason. It's because I don't want her to actually have sex with people other than David MacDonald. Or All right, various but, women I find attractive. Uh, the, the caller wants to know why why can't you be more involved in her self-esteem? Make her feel tra attractive. Make her feel respected. Um, well, these guys don't do that either. I mean, what, right. so, you know, a Facebook message of what's up, you know, that, that makes her feel attractive. Right. Now, all of a sudden, that gives her well worth. Okay. Uh, here is uh, Kevin and PA. You're in Run Fez. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, Dave. I, I've been married 22 years and seven days from now, and life is too fucking short to, to worry about this kind of shit. You know, just... Tear that pussy up every chance you get. And even when she don't want to give it to her anyhow, make sure she's satisfied. If she's coming when you're fucking, you don't have nothing to worry about. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> we don't want this to come down to how good Dave is in bed. That's a frightening uh, aspect. I was told by my wife that I was very good in bed. Are you bed. keeping her satisfied now? No. Why not? Because it's very, it, there's children everywhere. They're like fucking gremlins, like hanging from ceiling fans. It's just, it's, it's a long. Stan's been sick. He's always yelling. So and there's no time. There's no time for. I'm sure there's time. I'm sure there is time. But I'm, I feel like I'm tired often, and um, you know. Wow. Wow. Well, it's not wow. It's you know, I, I understand that, and I find her very. I've even said the other day, "Wow, you look fantastic." That's so I, I did tell her that. Yeah, that's <laughs> me. That's right. That's words words worth right there. I said you look fantastic, um, but I didn't do anything. Uh, Jen, Rhode Island, you're in front of Fez. Hey guys, um, Dave, honey, I just think you're fabulous, and I love listening to you guys. Perfect. And you. I really want you to feel better about this. I was, I wanted to give you a female perspective. I actually am. Don't hate me now. Give me a chance. I am a person who saves photos. I've got the little boxes, the divorce box, as you call it. Um, it's neatly tucked away. It, women just do this. I think Ron totally hit it on the head when he said that, you know, you're feeling threatened by it because you're looking at it from a male's perspective where, oh, you know, I really want to have sex with this woman. Mm -hmm. woman. Whereas women, I, I can't even tell you why. I, we have our boxes. We have our memories. And when we're 60 years old, we're going to sit with the box of Kleenex and go through it all and cry and blah, blah, blah. I, I can't tell you why. Really um, but the other thing I wanted to say to you, too, is that, um, you know, I mean, I don't know your wife, and, and women can be different. I mean, there are some out there who aren't lovely people. She sounds like a very lovely person. From everything I've actually heard to. women say the same thing as agenda. They save these for when they're older. Strange, when they're man. much, I know, totally. it's just something it's like men do not relate thing. to. Yeah. And you look at her and you're like, what? The, who <laughs> okay, would plan such a thing? <laughs> Here's like an extreme example. My husband, we have young, young kids. We have uh -huh. babies. And my husband had the video camera out the other day, and he was videoing our kids. And in the background, I made not a derogatory comment about a friend's child, but like I just, I made a comment with sort of an intonation in my voice. Right. And it was sort of negative. So I was like, oh, man, you got to get that off of there. If she ever hears this, you know. And he's saying to me, what are you talking about? When is she ever going to hear this? And I thought, well, when we're 60 and we're sitting around looking at videos of our babies and crying together. Jen, I mean, and we will. You admit know? it. What you're saying is these are pictures for you to look at and videos for you to look at after we're dead. You are <laughs> planning no, 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 no. this sentimental time after our heart attacks or strokes. <laughs> oh, Jen, that's gross. No, it's I mean, hopefully you guys are still around, us, but it's while you're out golfing. <laughs> you know, you don't have to put up with that in your world. Everybody <laughs> gets AIDS when they're still young and attractive. But the Not women go on forever. There, there's a <laughs> woman on my street. There's a woman on my street uh, whose husband died when, when he was 40. 
This woman is now 700 years old. Oh, my God. She's 700. Wow. Her- That's how long they live. Mrs. Yoda? Is that her name? She sits around and looks at her pictures and her videos. Oh, pictures look cries. at I do. <laughs> um, all right, Jen. Hey, Dave, can I tell you one more thing? Go ahead, honey. Why no, are you I- yelling at her? <laughs> You're just the best. Listen, I don't want to feel like I'm telling you what to do, and I, I'm totally in your in your camp because I know how it feels to feel crappy about a relationship. But um, it, you, I hear you talk a lot about how you're gone a lot, and I know that that's bothering you, and as it should. I mean, that's not an easy thing to have to live with. But I do think that <clears throat> if you spend – okay, here I go. If you spend – more quality time with your wife, and I know you're busy, and I know you've got all the kids and all that, um, but even an extra hour, you know what? Invite her into the smoke zone. Maybe she'll sit and listen to some music with you, or you guys can just have a laugh about something crazy, you know, and just make yourself feel all right, this a really, This more. really has turned into Oprah. We went from <laughs> really you. trying to help our friend into being an Oprah episode. Thanks, Jen. I'm st- I'm at least happy that she got Ag- the phraseology of smoke zone correct. Again, though, it goes back to their brains aren't like our brains. No, I didn't know that they. And I'm going to say this is very interesting that she brought that up because I was thinking about on Sunday I made my wife uh, clean the garage with me. Um, that was our big Easter Sunday, and most of it was her stuff. So I said, "You go through these boxes. T- tell me which ones I can throw out. Which ones I'll bring up to the right. attic." And she was getting emotional, and I would, I would look over, and she was, she was crying when she was, like, looking at these things in the boxes. And sometimes they weren't even photos. Sometimes they were, like, it was, like, a funny hat or T-shirt. And I was like, what's going on? She was like, it's very emotional for me to go through all this stuff. And I was just like, it's, they're just possessions. I, they're just objects. But, but, it's, but it's memories to them. They I, I can't. they can't sit there and work their brain like a computer. Yeah. They actually need to put something in their hands like a psychic. Oh, right. you know how a psychic will say, "Well, bring me your dead dad's hat." <laughs> right. These fucking and you'll never see that from a male psychic, just a female. <laughs> they need something physical, yeah. something to look at to have memories. It's really interesting because I I didn't even notice that until Sunday, and then Jen's call made me think about it. But, yeah, I mean, like, I don't have anything, fi- you know, I mean, sometimes I get emotional when I look at Chipples the puppet. But besides that, there's very few things that I have, uh, ob- objects that I have an attachment to. But she was, like, crying the whole day. And I'm like, yeah. also, she was crying because her back was hurting and she twisted her ankle and I was still making her move boxes. Um, let's go to Bill Trenton. You're on Fez. Hey, Ron, good morning. Hey. I, uh, I fuck my ex-girlfriend all the time. And the, the very first time that I hooked up with her just for a visit, uh, and her husband knew it, the, the only reason that I called her is because I wanted to fuck her. And uh, she's married with two kids, and uh, same deal. Her husband works all the time. He don't make a lot of money. He's a nice guy. But he doesn't make a lot of money, so she don't know what to do. She's lonely, and then uh, she likes hanging out with me because I, I, I'm not rich, but I make a decent buck. I stick uh, you're not helping Davey Mac. No. Uh, here's John F- in Florida. You're on Fez. Hey, Ronnie B. Yeah. Mr. Ron Ron Show. How are hey, you, pal? Hey, Dave. I, I want to know how many times Jeff made your wife come yesterday. Oh, you're fucking dead to me. You understand <laughs> me? Laugh come out, Fuzzball. Come on, fuzz man. Ball. How many times? She made you come. Titties? My wife made you come seven times yesterday. Oh, my God. And you had to clean it up. All right. Stop <laughs> it. That you know, Dave, you got yourself crazy. These people, right? You got yourself fucking crazy. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a a a, a tribulous, uh three days. I don't even know what that word means, or I doubt very much it has a, a meaning at all. Does it have anything to do with tribbles? <laughs> then the trouble with them. But back to Star Trek. Always came around. Tribulating. It's a. It's a. It's derived from that. And Hicks, you're swearing all this stuff happens in the office as well. Yeah, he's fucking ass freaks out in the office. I can't help but think what the NASCAR guys think. <laughs> <laughs> Do not embarrass us in front of the, the NASCAR guys. Are thinking this? That boy's right. He's right as rain. <laughs> um, let's go over to uh, Russell. Russell, you're in my face. Hey, buddy. Hey, Davey, maybe you shouldn't uh, go uh, and whack your bag every night at the porn store on 44th and 8th, across from the Port Authority. All right, Th- that has nothing to do with it. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you seen this guy there? 
No, I don't know what Dave, he's talking about. Dave, Jesus is looking at you. Is he telling I'm the truth? I'm not doing anything with Jesus right now. It's the regular. Dave, Jesus is staying away from me. Have you been going into that porn place at 48th and 8th? Um, yes or no? I'm not going right, to. So the answer is yes, because we're having a fucking honest day. All right? Now, yeah. you just look at me, and I'm being fucking honest here. You're telling me you're too tired to be with your wife, but you're fucking jerking off next to other men in fucking peak boots. <laughs> Sometimes I go there to shop. Like I go there to shop. Sometimes, I'm like, do you go into the peak more, booths? More times, I've, occasionally. There's have been you jacked something. there? Um, tell, tell the truth. Don't waste my time. I touch myself. All right. Why? A couple it, times, but I mean, it wasn't like I didn't jerk off. Okay. Uh, but why do you have time to masturbate in front of other men? It's uh, ran away. It's just it's very it's very luring. Like, but you say you have an hour a night with your wife alone time, right? You can't make something happen in that hour? I can, and I will. Why haven't you? Tonight. Um, no, honestly, we've just been very busy. How long has it been? We, we both have been very busy. How long has it been? Uh, a couple months. Okay. Maybe. You know, honestly, you know, it, it does revolve around a lot around the kids. There's a lot. I get it. And, I know and it's really hard. There just isn't a big break with Stan. There's, it almost seems like it's every 15 minutes or so that he's yelling about something. You know, if he's sick, he's sick. Then he then he throws up. Then he's hungry, but then he can't eat it. A lot of it because you know he'll throw it up some more. Then he's tired, but he w can't fall asleep. And now his teeth are coming in. She's on her. She's trying to get to the Children's Philadelphia Hospital today. In fact, but she doesn't have any money. Um, here's Luke in Florida. You're on my face. Yeah, Dave, I gotta warn you, brother. Um, I'm going through a divorce right now because of Facebook. I Started know. out as just a contact about in mid February, old high school fling. Next thing you know, she's banging him while I'm watching the two kids, three and five. That fucking, Facebook, you know, what I'm talking about. Here, here's the fucking thing. You and years past, people only had to worry about the high school reunion fucking thing. Because that always led to that what could have happened, and they fucking meet that guy that they used to. And now Facebook has got everybody, so you can't move away from home. Yeah. And I don't know why everyone sees this as a positive. <laughs> I used to think it was fucking great. I've moved away. That's fucking great. That part of my life is over. We used to like that fucking aspect of life. Yep. Just in the same way, and I brought this up before, men refuse to leave childhood behind and have that just become a memory. Now they want to have their toys. They still want to fucking sit there as adults and watch cartoons. Now Facebook keeps us all in our fucking hometown where we grew up. What have you been up to? This is the same shit you used to say to each other on a fucking corner until finally you said, I got to move out of this one horse town. <laughs> right. Now you're making it into a one horse planet. <laughs> Um, here is, um, here's John. John, you're on my face. John, gone once, twice. Gone. Uh, Keith, Phoenix, you're on my face. Keith, we got you? Hello? Uh, you drive me crazy. Let me go over here to, um, our good friend Brazilian Julie. We used to be able to get this on Twitter. She dumped us all. Now we can try to get it live. How are you, Julie? Hi, guys. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Um, Dave, maybe, I don't know. This is the reason I save a lot of my things. Like, I like to look back and, like, look at how I used to look and dress and, like, like mm. I don't know. There's something about my past that seems, like... Shady? Like, I get to keep a part of my youth in some of those photos, you know? Like, I get to look back on myself... Not just look in the people in them, but like look at look back at me and like the fun I was having, you know. Uh, I I understand, but you know, if you you. It sounds like the photos are are of you, not you and your yeah, boyfriend. But like, but you said and specifically with the photos, like the strip photos, like a lot of those, like it seems like she would look really cute. Your wife was like probably a really cute looking girl, you know, and she is still. So it's like maybe she just wants to keep it to look at herself. I mean. <laughs> Well, I know that sounds kind of silly, but... Again, we don't understand their brains, Dave. It's completely different to us. 
No, it is completely different because I don't understand why I do it either. I don't need old photographs and shit. Like, I don't fucking need this. Are you like squirrels? Getting hey, nuts? Yeah, I mean, like this squirrels. Is, you Here's the winner thing. coming. It's, it's really, it really comes down to this. You can't ask anything of anyone else. You cannot. You can only let them be themselves, and you can choose to accept that or not accept that. I'd be totally, because you can't ask them. I'd be totally cool with that, but then I don't want to be asked to do anything. See, I don't want to be asked then to do stuff. What does she ask of you? Um, can I get home faster? Um, can I spend more time on Saturday? Uh -huh. Um, can I, you know? So then you have to say back, and without a fight. This is what I need to be me. These are the things that you need to be you, and these are the things that I need to be me. And hopefully they'll line up together. Mm -hmm. Because you can't ask things of people. You can't ask them to do something for you. It causes them such resentment. They have to be themselves. All right, I get, I get your point. I'm not going to... The only person who can ask things of people is Alex Trebek. Right. All right, Julie... Thanks Game a lot, host. buddies. Have I, a great day. When are you coming back to Twitter? Ask. When is that? I am, I keep on forgetting. I have to change my email address for all that stuff. So I'm getting on that. <laughs> because two or two friends has gotten very boring without you. I know. I know. I'm sorry. You need the madness. <laughs> all right. Bye, honey. Well, look, Dave. Keep your head up. And look, she really loves you. Okay, so don't give her such a hard time. All right. Brazilian okay. Julie. You'll Bye, never buddy. see, by the way, you'll never see a woman against another woman, will you? No. They're like fucking the bloods and the crypts over they there. Are. They are. Jesus, Mary Joseph. That's the other thing about men. We compete against uh, men, and women compete against men. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. We are the on our own. We us. are on our own. Well, it doesn't dawn on us to gang up together. Yeah, it's true. And look, let's face it. Any man that was on your side today, Dave, was giving you bad advice. <laughs> he was giving you advice to end up in fucking divorce town. Right. Is that where you want to live? No. I am not getting a divorce. That's you want to be in the smoke happen. zone. I do want to be in the smoke zone. I just want to be in happy land. You know, that, that's what I call the entire house. I want to be in happy land. But I want to be happy in happy land. Uh, here's uh, Jason, California. Yeah, uh, I thought maybe Casey would stay off Facebook, Dave. If you quit, you know, jerking off that little pink-haired girl from Lady Town. The oh oh um, I, I don't know how to answer that. But your information's incorrect. I never jerk. Uh, Ray Rochester, you're on Fez. Ray. Yes. Uh, just I just want to say that uh. I think women are kind of like retards where they think they're doing well, they think they're doing everything right, they try hard, they're doing everything by their best standards, and they still fuck things up like the Thanksgiving or uh, family functions and things like that. They, you know, they ain't trying to fuck things up, they just do. And, you know, it's like you said, different brains, different ways. Just different ways. It doesn't mean that they're retarded. <laughs> it just means, quite simply, that things mean different things to them than they do to us. And it's, and this is really about the fact of can we adjust? Can we say to ourselves, does that mean the same thing as it would mean to me? Because mm -hmm. normally a guy is like, that's behind me. Yeah, that Unless is. Unless I still want her on my fuck list. Right. I just hope that women are being honest with us when they call in, and because it sounds like women may have a fuck list themselves. Let me ask you this. How many friends do you have that are girls? Do you have any fucking women that you could go to? Because um, it may be zero help for you to talk to us. I, so I consider, like, Solera a good, like, girlfriend. Friend of who's Solera's a girl. very smart, particularly when it comes to men and women things. She might be a person that you can say... What does this mean? Yeah, and she keep her uh, trap shut, too. She's got that Dominican old school thing. Code of silence. Yeah. Because when you are talking to men about women, you might as well just go and get advice from Monkey Island. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get advice there, but I'd like to visit Monkey Island one day. You live there. When I can get... <laughs> you're, you're working on Monkey Island every fucking day. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, look, some of these people just want to fucking piss you off. Some of these people, I'm looking through this. This is awful. I heard that Monkey Island's just bananas. Yeah, good joke. <laughs> Mal, California, you're on Fez. Fez. Yes. Just checking. He's here. He's here and doing half. Give me a pound, brother. Uh, when we get back here, uh, I want to talk to Chris Stanley a little bit about some of his problems. I know Fez has got a lot of stuff going on. Luckily, we fixed Dave's marriage. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's done and better than ever. Yeah. Strong. And better than Ezra. <laughs> but still... Decent band. But still less than Jake. So I want you to work <laughs> on it. You're better than Ezra, but less than Jake. 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 